Hey guys, this is Gruesome, and this is a tutorial on how to make a recolor that isn't a default replacement, unless you want it to be, of any of the in-game or downloadable speed tree items. So speed trees are objects like plants and trees that don't have a mesh, but, well they do, but they're made by speed tree and not uh, as an object. And um, yeah, so first thing you need to do is you need to clone um, some other speed tree. So I'm just going to go to Sims 3 OC, Sims 3 Object Cloner. And we can either say File Open Package and pick a CC um, tree or plant that we want to clone, or we can go to Tools Search. I want an ash tree, so I'm just going to write an ash tree. I'm going to tickle these to make it better for searching. I'm just going to press Search. It usually takes a while because it has to go through all your game files. But it's pretty much just going to search through them all, and um, because I know what this is, I know that the ash tree belongs to um, World Adventures, but it also will tell you under EPSP. So I'm already going to go here, I'm going to go into um, wherever you installed your program, so for me it's here, Electronic Arts, World Adventures, because the tree comes from World Adventures, um, Game Data, Shared Packages. And you'll see that there's one or multiple packages. You'll have to search through all of them if you don't know which one it is. It's still searching. The problem is, if you clone a speed tree object, that the clone doesn't actually include the image files, which is really annoying. So you've got to go find the image files yourself. So we're going to go here, which is all the files for World Adventures. And just open this while that's opening. Okay, here we go. There's Showtime, actually. Oh, wait. I know there's another one coming. There's another Showtime one from World Adventures. Right, so it's just searching through all these. And it lists all the ones it can find. Here we go. And I want Tree Ash Small World Adventures. So if I just click on it, then it will show me a little picture here. And this is important what the name is. So you can see that I can search Ash Tree and it comes up with Tree Ash because it also um, looks through resource names and stuff. So you can just um, write in the name that you see in game of whatever you want. Here we go. I need to remember this that it says Tree Ash um, because I'm going to need the image files for it in a second. Right, so we're just going to go here and clone. We're going to say Deep Clone and because we don't want it to be a default replacement, we're going to say Renumber, Rename Internally. If you want it to be a default replacement, don't tick that. Um, yeah, let's just call this test. Let's start. Save it somewhere. And let it do its thing. And it will tell you when it's done. Also a way to clone other EA objects. And um, if you press that renumber internally, then you're never making a default replacement. So we're pretty much done in Sims 3 Object Cloner. Now if I show you... Um, right. If I open it up, you'll see it has absolutely no image files, which isn't good. So we need to find those. And now here we're going to write tree ash, because this is what it was called in the Object Cloner. I'm going to press set, and I'm going to make the filter active. And you'll see we find the image files for it here. So I'm going to select all of them by holding shift, and then say resource, export to file. Do not save them as a DDS, just say this. And export them to a file. Let's just put test again. Right. That's all you need from the game files. Obviously, if you clone something from a package, you just export them from the package and not from the game files. Sometimes it's easier. So, right. If we want to now recolor them, we can open these, ignore me, you can see, see. Um, three, we can open these, um, for example, this, um, and we can recolor it. So, the first thing I might do is just make it a bit bigger. You can see what I'm doing. Make sure you stay within the DDS sizes. Go to Alpha Layer, click this little circle in the corner, go to Layers, 
right click layer from background and select inverse and delete. That way we've got a cutout. And now I can edit this however I want. I usually try and keep the relative shape um, of the tree and the leaves just to make it not look as weird. And you can also edit the other files. So you've got these. These are called the billboards, which is what it looks like from far away. You can edit them to fit the same color or do whatever you want. Make sure if you say uh, when before you save, delete the alpha layer so that it generates a new one in case you've done something new. And when you save, save as. I would say save it as new file, so I'm just going to call this new. Uh, save as DDS. And this needs to be DXT5 generate mitmaps and interpolated alpha. Um, the only one that gets saved to something else is this one called self shadow. This is um, pretty much just says the shadow of it, but this one, which usually people don't edit, needs to be saved as DXT1 without. Um, alpha. Right, so let's just pretend we actually edited that. You can edit that however you want in real life pictures. Um, now we're going to say resources and um, open the thing that we cloned from the sensory object. Resource import from file and we're going to select all of these files that we exported from the game files and just say open. Import. Good. So now you'll see we have bark D Bark N, self shadow, composite D, composite D, which stands for billboard, and another composite B, which is the normal map, which is why it's white. It doesn't say N, but you'll need to know that it is the normal map. Um, obviously, if you've made a new edit of this, right click replace, um, select new. I don't want to change anything, but made it bigger. You can see it's a new one. And now we need to link these files um, to this project. So what we're going to do is we need a hex editor. So um, it says in the text how to get that, but literally you go to settings, external programs, tick yes and link to a hex editor. So I use xv132 and just link to the exe file. Now we can right click and say hex editor. Now this looks like a shitload of numbers that's really confusing, but it's actually pretty easy. So Close that for a second. Um, you can see that they're all called something with ash and tree. So we'll just try and find a common word for all these images, and ash works pretty well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to say search, find, ash. And you'll see it finds it. So it says here, tree, ash. And you'll see that it's like a file location. So C, blah, 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 tree, ash. And then this is the name of the file. Um, tree, ash, underscore, bark, D. So it's my bark. Um, file name but tcg uh, tga so what i can do is i can rename or change a couple of these letters in here you can't add letters but you can replace letters so you'll see it overwrites so i'm just going to call it tree pes underscore bark underscore d i need to remember that so i'm just going to open word and call it tree pes underscore bark underscore d Right, I need to remember this. Good. Now we can just go to search, find again down, and we'll find another one. It says tree ash leaves. Leaves does not exist as one of the pictures. You'll know that the file names are um, self shadow, they're the composite and the billboards, and bark. So leaves doesn't exist, so we'll leave this one. Find again down. Leaves two also doesn't. Find again down. Right here we've got tree ash frond also doesn't exist. These are the three that really don't exist. Find again down. Tree ash self shadow. We know that one exists so I'm going to do exactly the same here and call this Tess. Okay so it's tree Tess underscore self with a big S shadow. Tree Tess underscore self shadow. No, there's something else in there. That's why. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Good. Search, finding in down. Tree composite D. Yep, we didn't change this, so tree test underscore composite underscore D. Tree test underscore composite underscore D. Search, 
and again down. Here we go, here it is. Bark underscore D. You've already got this one, but it comes up twice, so we'll change it twice. Search, find it down. Tree bark M. Tree bark M. That was the other image. Search, find it down. Leaves, we don't want that. Search, find it down. Leaves again, we don't want that. Search. And again, don't want that. Composite D, again, we have that one, so let's change that to Tess. Search, find it down. Tess. Oop, that was the wrong one. Oop, there's an ash this one. Three Tess. Make sure you're actually writing the file name and not the location. Three Tess underscore composite underscore billboards underscore D. Three Tess underscore billboards underscore. That's the zoomed out. Okay. Find it in now. Change that one. Yeah. Now composite billboards underscore n. That is the normal app. That's what I'm saying. You need to know that it's the normal app. Because it looks like one. Right. Search. Finding in down. Self shadow. Yep. We have that one. Tests. Search. Finding down. Okay, string not bound, that means we've come to the end of this. So now I'm just going to say file, save, close that, it'll say do you want to update it? Yep. And it'll see it deleted the old um, speed tree and gave you a new one. Now we need to make these text and these images match. So, double click on image, and here we're going to change the name to what it was. So it used to be, used to be Tree Ash Bark D, so it's the Bark D one. So we'll take this, put it in there. And then we're just going to press FNV64 and press OK. Same here, and I know it's the same one, but with M. Press FNV64, OK. This one is the one called Self Shadow. Change that name. V64, okay. This is the composite D one. Give it the big image. Okay. And this one is this is billboards normal, so billboards D. It's zoomed out. And this is billboards in. Right, that is pretty much all you need to do. Now we can just say file save, and this is then your complete tree recolor, whatever you want it to be, that does not override the original. What you can also do is um, if I double click object, you can see it's 0 times 0, 8, which means that's not base game compatible. So I'm going to double click the object and just turn that 8 or whatever numbers are here into a zero, okay, and now it's also base game compatible. Save that, and we have a tree.